The Washington State Department of Health has reported a new record number of cases tallied in a single day. We're talking COVID here. The Seattle Times reports more than 6,000 new COVID cases were recorded on December 24th. So joining us live now with more on the Omicron surge amid the New Year's Eve celebrations is Clark County Deputy Health Officer Dr. Stephen Krager. Dr. Krager, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, how would you describe the Omicron variant? I, I know that we talk about it all the time on our shows, but I think a lot of questions are still out there about exact, exactly how contagious this thing is, especially as we do head, head into the New Year's weekend. Well, we've never seen a COVID-19 variant like it. It is incredibly contagious. So uh, spreading faster than we've ever seen and, and causing case numbers that are, that are higher than we've ever seen. So we're setting records in Washington. Uh, we're getting close to our records in Clark County. Um, and it's, it's concerning just how quickly it's spreading. Obviously, we have a lot to learn about how you know, severe of cases it causes, but it is sending people to the hospital. And just because overall it might be a little bit less severe, it doesn't mean people won't get sick and die from COVID-19. Well, doctor, if you are fully vaccinated, uh, but you haven't gotten your booster shot, for example, uh, how concerned should you be? I would be concerned. Um, I mean, you still seem to have significant protection from hospitalization and death, but that that protection is better if you're boosted. And, and we see even better protection uh, from just all types of infection, whether it's mild or not, if you're boosted. So the time to get your booster is now. Um, we're going to see, you know, rec again, we're going to be setting records over and over in January in regards to case numbers. And so if you get that now, you'll be protected when we continue to have that surge. Well, what about specifically in, in Clark County, especially as you look ahead to that holiday weekend. What, what is the spread like right now in Clark County? Yeah, we are seeing close to record numbers. So we saw uh, 250 cases right before Christmas. Um, you know, testing is is difficult right now because uh, so many places are closed. So it's hard to kind of gauge what the numbers are like. Um, but we're seeing a lot of cases. We're seeing decent numbers of outbreaks associated with sports, a couple in, you know, long-term care facilities. So those things are happening. Um, and just based on what we're seeing in other places, it's going to be worse. Well, I know here in uh, Oregon, uh, getting access to testing has been a problem uh, because more people are demanding tests, especially during the holiday season. They're getting together with families and friends. Uh, so what's the access like for just getting a test in Clark County? Yeah, it's OK. Um, you might have to call around a little bit. So it's not as, you know, kind of free for all as it was in the past where you could just walk into a pharmacy and get it. Um, but there is still availability. You just ha might have to be a little bit more creative um, and persistent. So if you have any symptoms or, you know, if you're planning for a get together and you want to take those tests beforehand, I would be persistent, keep looking for those home tests, or if you have to, you know, call a doctor's office or, or a pharmacy and make an appointment. How should families be spending this this New Year's Eve? You know, especially on a Friday night, I feel like it's going to be even uh, maybe more popular uh, for people to be able to try to spend time together than uh, in a couple of years past. I mean, so how should families be spending um, this this holiday weekend? Yeah, you know, what I've been telling people is if you're vaccinated and boosted, you are well protected. Um, we still need to be concerned about people who are at the highest risk, you know, most vulnerable people with immunocompromised. I think those people should still take precautions and not go to large gatherings. Um, and if you are having a large gathering, you can take steps to increase safety, like, like testing prior and as close to the event as possible, um, increasing ventilation, so cracking a window or having an air purifier. Um, if it's in a really crowded indoor event, you know, masks are going to be really important and really high quality, you know, well fitted multiple layer masks. Those are steps you can take. Um, but I still think we need to be concerned about those that are kind of highest risk in our lives. What's right now is people who are unvaccinated and have no prior immunity and those people with immunocompromised. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, good advice there. And thanks for the update on the information. Dr. Stephen Krager, thank you for joining us again on AM Extra and Happy New Year's.